Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Badger Archaeologist. A massive trove of treasure was discovered in northwest Spain, and it consists of over 200 coins from the Roman era. But what's far more fascinating than the coins themselves is the fact that they weren't found by archaeologists. They weren't even found by humans. It was a single hungry badger digging for food that stumbled upon this incredible discovery by accident. January of 2021 was a rough year for Spain. They were hit by a rare snowstorm, the most intense in the last half century. During the storm, a confused badger had to dig around for food, searching for its typical diet of berries, insects, and worms. Rather than finding something to eat, it found a small hidden treasure of metal discs. By the time archaeologists were made aware of the find, the coins had already been dispersed over the floor of a cave. They then did their own excavation, finding a total of 209 coins from between the 3rd and 5th century. This was the late Roman era, just before the final collapse. The coins came from as far as Constantinople, likely passing through Rome, into Lyon in France, and then to Spain. How in the world they ended up buried at the entrance to a cave is a total mystery. Number 9. Temple of the Water Cult In Peru, archaeologists have excavated a megalithic temple from 3,000 years ago. They say the temple was used by a water cult who practiced fertility rituals inside its walls. The temple was found at Huaca el Toro in the Zana Valley. It's the very first massive temple made from stones that's ever been found in the valley. Because of this, researchers don't know a whole lot about the people who made it, but what they believe is that the residents of the temple literally worshipped water. They probably built the temple in the valley, close to where two ancient rivers connect, as a type of territorial symbolism. And here's where things get really impressive. The temple was constructed using huge stones moved into the valley from a mountain about two miles away. While that distance might not seem like much to us, it was a huge distance to drag stones that weighed several tons. Even more interesting is that the construction went on over three distinct time periods. The initial construction was in 1500 BC, with the foundation and first stones being laid. Then, between 800 and 400 BC, the megalithic temple itself was erected by the Chavan people, a pre-Inca civilization. Then, between 400 and 250 BC, circular columns were added, a huge roof was installed, and the work was complete. Almost immediately after, the temple was abandoned. Seemingly, no one used the structure again for another 1300 years, until the Chumi culture showed up and made use of it as a burial ground. Number 8. Revolutionary War Battlefield In South Carolina, archaeologists have discovered the site of the Battle of Tar Bluff. The battle was fought in August of 1782, when America was still in its infancy. It's mainly remembered today as the place where John Lawrence, friend of George Washington and Alexander Hamilton, was killed in battle. Lawrence and 140 infantrymen were trying to secure part of the Combahee River when the British ambushed them. The Americans had been getting annoyed by the British soldiers looting their nearby farms and were hoping to put an end to it. Instead, Lawrence and his men were killed. Mike Yiannopoulos with the South Carolina Battleground Preservation Trust pinpointed the exact location of the battlefield using GPS technology and metal detectors. They then started digging and have since found all kinds of amazing wartime artifacts. They've discovered an Irish halfpenny from 1775, plenty of British grape shot, musket balls, and even a fully intact bayonet. Number 7. Mysterious Symbols In the desert of Qatar, there are mysterious symbols carved into soft rock and researchers remain unsure of their meaning. These symbols can be found on the northeastern coast of the country in the sand of the barren desert. Centuries ago, people used limestone outcrops as blank canvases to craft symbols, motifs, and other bizarre objects. In total, archaeologists have identified at least 900 rock carvings at the site of Al Jassasiya, but identifying and understanding are two totally different things. According to Furhan Sakal, head of the excavations at Qatar Museums, the carvings found here are unique and unlike any found anywhere else in the world. They show a high degree of creativity and abstract thinking, 
something not typically seen in other prehistoric works of art. Normally, people carve things that they saw into the rock. Some Native Americans drew animals, themselves, hunting parties, and other recognizable representations of daily life. But here, the symbols and designs are abstract and confusing. Some experts believe the carvings may have been used for divination. There are dozens of configurations of small holes, parallel lines, and other geometric features that don't seem to mean anything, at least not to us. Experts don't even know how old the rock art is because it's been too challenging to date. The best hypothesis is that people were carving strange symbols into the rocks here from some time between the Neolithic days to the more recent Islamic times. Number 6. Ancient Parasites When researchers were studying the contents of an ancient cesspit beneath a toilet in Jerusalem, they uncovered the remains of intestinal parasite eggs. The eggs were probably the result of poor sanitary conditions. But the reason the discovery is so interesting is that this was no ordinary toilet they were investigating. It came from the garden of a luxury mansion from the 7th century BC. 2,700 years ago, this stone toilet was the epitome of luxury. The only reason the eggs survived long enough for us to study them is that the cesspit was truly disgusting. Buried underground and full of refuse, the parasite eggs remained relatively preserved. The eggs would have hatched into intestinal worms that could cause all kinds of nasty symptoms from abdominal pain to diarrhea. Intestinal worms were very dangerous for children, as they often led to malnutrition and even death. Previously, researchers thought unsanitary toilet conditions may have only been a problem for the poor of that time. However, since these parasites were found in such a luxurious estate, it seems they were also a problem for the rich and the powerful. Even kings and rulers had poor sanitary conditions that led to their drinking water being contaminated by fecal matter. It also didn't help that at the time, no one knew they were supposed to wash their hands, and practices such as using feces to fertilize crops and urine to brush your teeth were pretty common. Number 5. The Salt Mines of Garmsar The salt mines of Garmsar extend like the winding tunnels of hell beneath the earth. There are over 92 separate salt mines beneath the city in the Semnan province of Iran, with some still in use today but some are old, having been carved out long ago by the inhabitants of the region. The salt mines here are unique because they yield salt of over 98% purity. They are also really gorgeous. The salt mines, the ones that are abandoned, are so big you could drive a double-decker bus through them. The result of removing salt for so many years is huge underground caverns that look like they could house a race of subterranean cave people. The walls are smooth as sand, there are massive columns that keep the roof from collapsing, and they even have medicinal purposes. Locals believe the salt mines can be used to cure and treat diseases. It's believed that by breathing the air inside the salty underground chambers, one can heal themselves of any respiratory ailment. This makes the mines not only popular with tourists, but also with locals who are looking to breathe a bit better. Some of these salt mines have even been flooded and require small boats to explore. Do you believe in the healing power of salt? Let me know in the comments below. Number 4. Bronze Age Sauna On Orkney in Scotland, archaeologists have uncovered an extraordinarily rare sauna from the Bronze Age. It was one of over 30 different buildings and structures uncovered during the most recent dig on Orkney, with the structures dating from between 4000 to 1000 BC. That means they were built by people living in the region between 6,000 and 3,000 years ago. The sauna was described by archaeologists as being in remarkable condition for how old it is. They've even put forth some explanations as to what the ancient people may have used it for. It could have been constructed specifically for ritual ceremonies. It may also have been a special building reserved for women while giving birth. Thirdly, the ancient sauna or steam house could have been a depository for bodies where they were taken to be purified in steam before being buried. The structure itself consists of a fireplace, a water tank, and a pile of burnt stones. It also had several different cells attached to it so that multiple people could use the sauna at the same time. The water tank was actually enormous. 
installed at the central part of the structure to produce boiling water and steam to circulate through all the adjacent cells. It's amazing that even 6,000 years ago, our ancient ancestors had figured out how to relax in style. Although archaeologists theorize this discovery is evidence of some kind of birthing house or ritual structure, it may have just been an ordinary sauna used for rest and relaxation. Number 3. Aztec Sacrifices A treasure trove of Aztec war sacrifices has been discovered in Mexico City. Some of these treasures include a statue of a jaguar dressed as a warrior, flint knives decorated with pearls, and even the body of a young child dressed to look like an Aztec god of war. Experts believe these sacrificial offerings were deposited hundreds of years ago by Aztec priests in a ritual platform once located at the entrance to the temple. They also believe the offerings could be proof that an ancient Aztec king is buried somewhere nearby. Archaeologist Leonardo Lopez Luján told reporters that he and his team have enormous expectations. They believe the more they dig, the more interesting objects they'll discover. The ultimate goal is to find where this mysterious king is buried, if there is indeed a secret tomb somewhere under the temple. You may even recognize the name of the temple. It's called Templo Mayor and it's located in the heart of Mexico City, near the Zocalo Plaza. Before the Spanish conquest of Mexico in 1521, this entire area was the center of the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan. Templo Mayor was a pyramid that stood over 15 stories tall, but the Spanish burned it down and built their own structures on top of it. Whatever secrets were buried before the Spanish ever arrived are still hiding beneath Mexico City's streets. Offerings like this point archaeologists in the right direction. And hopefully, it's just a matter of time before they dig deep enough to uncover the secrets of the old Aztec rulers. Number 2. Ancient Copper Workshop In Israel's Negev Desert, archaeologists have discovered a copper workshop from 6,500 years ago. Based on the evidence found here, the experts say technology for producing copper was likely an extremely close-guarded secret. In other words, the technology used to produce copper wasn't widely available and was guarded by the ruling class so that they could retain control over the ability to produce copper. It was the most impressive technology back then, and whoever controlled it held all the power. In fact, Professor Ben Yosef said no technology was more sophisticated in the entire ancient world than refining copper. The excavations here began in 2017, when the workshop was first discovered. Archaeologists found the leftover pieces of a furnace, a primitive installation of tin, a copper slag, and leftover stone tools. Even though metalworking was known 6,500 years ago, it wasn't that advanced. People still use stone tools and whatever was easiest to shape. Another interesting fact is that by looking at the isotopes of ore remnants, scientists were able to identify the exact place where the copper came from. Traders had actually brought it from Jordan, around 60 miles away, to be refined. The people who traded the raw copper to those living in the Negev desert didn't even have the technology to refine it themselves. Experts believe the procurers of the ore were the Gasulian culture but were not nearly as technologically advanced as the people living in Israel. They got swindled out of the copper ore in trade, then those with the knowledge to turn the copper into useful tools did so. They did it without ever sharing their knowledge with anyone else, likely to maintain their importance in the region. Number 1. Powerful Ancient Leader A treasure from 4,000 years ago is changing history. More accurately, it's changing our interpretation of history. A trove of jewelry was uncovered in Spain, alongside the remains of a woman and a man at the archaeological site of La Almoloya. What makes this discovery so unique is that experts say the man was probably the woman's consort. They believe that the jewels belonged to her and she was a powerful local leader. If true, it could dispel gender myths that ancient Europeans did not often have female rulers. The site of La Almoloya can be found in the forest outside of Cartagena. According to National Geographic, the burial took place around the year 1700 BC. Coincidentally, other discoveries from the same time period found in Spain have already proven that women were considered adults long before men. Girls as young as six have been found buried with tools and weapons, 
while the youngest boys buried with these artifacts were much older, in their teens. What this suggests is that women may have been in significant positions of power. This particular female came from the Argaric culture and has been nicknamed by scientists the Princess of Lalmoloya. No one is sure exactly what kind of political power she had, what her role was in society, or even what kind of beliefs the Argaric had. But based on the physical evidence, the people of El Argar may have been ruled by more women than men. Thanks for watching! Which of these discoveries surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!